Welcome back guys for another episode. Today we're dealing with piston and liner assemblies. So buckle up and let's get to it. This right here is what I'm trying to get done. I'm trying to get all six of these like or all six assemblies just like this. And then I'll drop them into the block um, later. The little control ring, I just pull apart like that. For all this assembly, I'll use just regular old oil, which this is 2050 oil. <coughs> but you can use, well, you can probably use uh, 1540 as well. Especially since this motor actually uses 1540. Spread it apart all the way if you need to. Feed it back into itself. Now the, the bottom ring doesn't have an up or a down, so it doesn't matter on its orientation, but the other two rings do, so you do need to be careful. These things always make me nervous. Second one to go on is the black one. Let's see if I can look at this. Uh, focus, focus. Um, all right. You can see a top etched into it. And if you're careful, you can see there's a little circle right there. It's barely etched into it. Let's see if I can get the light to it. There we go. That's much better. Yeah. <clears throat> that tells you it's up or which way's up and which way's down. But even if it didn't have the top written on it, um, that's what the circles are usually for on almost every set of piston rings. It's either a dot or a circle, one or the other. Make sure your ring is well lubricated. Alright. This one's the same way, only this one's goes on the very top of the piston. Up for this one is actually the opposite. You'll have the here. make sure. See, there's top and there's that circle. Just like that. And that piston assembly is, for the most part, together. These need to be 120 degrees from each other. Quick serve doesn't say any or about which orientation to start it at, so I'm just picking one of these sides. Here, 
here. These are the wrong pistons. They look identical. Yeah. I have absolutely no idea what the difference is. All I know is that the part number is different and the thing is that I don't want to risk making any unanticipated changes in the motor I'm going to use the correct part number that goes with this now these aren't round o-rings these are flattened so it's a lot harder to get them to twist but I'm sure you could if you really tried but in any case Liners installed. All it does is sit in that lower groove. Still haven't figured out what the upper groove is for, even though it looks like there's some, supposed to be something there. Quick serve doesn't call for anything. And uh, the old ones didn't have anything either. I broke two O-rings already, or well, control rings rather. I'm gonna try from the top. I don't hold much faith that this will be any better, but There we go. Wrist pin. All right, the uh, rest of the assemblies are pretty much the same, with the exception of this one that I'm showing you where I actually disassembled it. Uh, don't need to worry. I did not reuse any of the wrist pins. Uh, I pretty much had. All new parts with the exception of the uh, con rods. So the con rods are the only used parts, used parts uh, in these assemblies. Some of the new parts had. Uh, light corrosion on it from basically a lack of CPC or corrosion preventive and uh, some of them had a little bit of rust so I just lightly touched them up with the uh, wire wheel and uh, cleaned them up
for the con rods that had a little bit of rust, all I did is I touched it up with the uh, Scotch Bright or dish soap sponge that you can see sitting there and a little bit of WD-40 and it pretty much took care of it. I just had to make sure that that sponge was super dry, which is not too hard here in Arizona. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I know there isn't a whole lot to this one. Uh, decided to keep the video short, seeing as the next one is going to be fairly long anyways. Um, or at least this one and the next one combined will be too long, I should say. So, if you like it, hit that thumbs up. Uh, if you ain't, go ahead and already, uh, if you ain't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe now. Because even though we're going through this boring stuff, there's going to be a lot more fun stuff coming up.